Hi, I'm Scott from Petra Tools, and today I'm going to show you our hardworking and economical HD100 and HD200 sprayers. Whether you've just purchased one or you're looking around for an easy to use and affordable manual sprayer, these two models will get the job done for you. We design these two models to support folks who have smaller jobs around the home. But what we've found is that a lot of people that buy the HD100 one gallon and HD200 two gallon own one of our battery powered backpack sprayers as well and just want a smaller unit that's dedicated to single jobs like weed killing, allowing them to use their backpack sprayer for other jobs. Let us know in the comments how you use your pump sprayer. We love to hear from our customers. Okay, now that we've opened the box, let's talk about what's inside. Pulling up on this beautiful orange handle, we see that this unit is already assembled and almost ready for spraying. We've got the tank and the strap here. The hose is already connected at the factory and the valve handle is connected to the hose. Here's the wand. And we see that the wand has a matching orange nozzle threaded on already. Unlike our larger battery powered models, the HD1 and 200 come with a single nozzle, but it is adjustable. Spin it and you can get a stream of up to 15 feet or a super fine mist for spraying delicate flowers and plants. Like every model that we sell, there's a full color manual included in the box. We're a family owned US business and we have a team here that writes and edits our own owner's manuals in English and Spanish. As you can see, they're top notch and they're packed with information on safe operation, storage and usage tips. We take great pride in the appearance and usefulness of our manuals and we strongly recommend that you read yours, no matter which model you end up buying. And in every box, we include an extended warranty card, which gets you access to our product gurus at our Carlisle, Pennsylvania warehouse. These folks are familiar with every product we sell, and they love to help our customers get the most from their purchases. Make sure and read the info on the card and get that extra support. Okay, let's check out our sprayer. Starting from the top, we've got a molded plastic handle that we'll use to build pressure in the tank. We'll also use it to spin the lid on and off for filling, mixing, and cleaning. Like all our sprayers, we designed a wide mouth opening to minimize spills and messes. On either side of the tank, you'll notice these little clips, and that's to hold the wand when you're not using it. Just pop it in there. Next, we notice this orange pressure release valve. When we're done spraying, it can be a little tricky to twist the lid off if there's still pressure built up in the tank. Simply lift the pressure release valve, and in a second or two, the pressure is all bled off. This is also a great way to keep the solution in the tank where it belongs, but be sure to follow the safety instructions in the manual. Wear protective clothing and gloves, and never use our sprayers with anything that could be flammable. On the sides, we've printed gallon and liter markings so you can see how much solution you have left. Makes it easier for measurement too. There's a max fill line here too. Don't fill your solution above this line or you'll be unable to build up sufficient pressure inside the tank. On the back, we have a shoulder strap that'll allow you to tackle some of the bigger jobs and longer jobs without cramping up your hands. Okay. Next, we're going to assemble the wand to the hose and valve handle. We're simply going to unthread the connector here and slide it up into the wand. Push the wand down into the valve handle and then thread the locking nut down finger tight. That's it, your assembly is done. And this process is the same for both the HD100 and 200. Using the HD100 and 200 is straightforward too. First, we're going to unthread the fill cap and pump. Pour the solution you're using down through the wide mouth and then re-thread the fill cap 
down into the tank until it's tight. Don't over tighten it, Hercules. This isn't a carnival game and there's no first prize. Also, make sure you're following the ratios and instructions for whatever solution that you're using. Now we want to lift the pump handle up. And in order to do this, we're going to line up the bars under the handle with the slots in the top of the lid and pull straight up. When you're ready to pump, you don't need to overdo it. And depending on how much solution you've got inside the tank, five to 10 pumps should do the trick. Next, you wanna turn it clockwise to lock it into place. Do your spraying. Like I mentioned before, depending on the job at hand, you can spin this sharp looking orange nozzle to get a nice misting spray or a far reaching stream. When you're done, lift up on the pressure release valve over here and unthread the handle. You're ready to clean your sprayer out with clean soapy water. We recommend storing these models with the pump completely unthreaded and separate so it can thoroughly dry out before your next use. Petra Tools is based in the United States and we're proud of our mission to delight the customer with every product we sell. From the guys who unload and test our sprayers in the warehouse to the support staff who answer the phones here, we're all dedicated to your satisfaction. If you ever have an issue, concern, or question about one of our rock solid products, our team members will be happy to walk you through it. Thank you so much for watching and keep spraying.